Let's go ahead and get started working on the creation of posts. The first thing we're going to do is register the routes for this functionality. And since we want to keep our routes clean, we are also going to register a resource route for the post. So here we're going to have post. And then we're going to direct this to a post controller that we haven't yet created. We're just going to run php at san make controller post controller. And we are going to pass the resource flag so that it generates all the methods we need. So that has been generated. If we run php at san route list at the moment, you can see that we have routes registered for the post right here. So we have post create, post store, view a post, update a post, edit a post, and delete a post right there. All right, awesome. So we we'll go to our post controller. And the first thing we want to do right here is return a view for viewing all posts. And this view is going to be post dot index. I will go into the resources views folder. And in here, I'm going to create a folder called post. And in here, I'm going to create a file called index.blade.php. First, I'm going to extend the main layout. So extends layouts.app. And then I'm going to create a section for the content and section. And in here, I'm just going to have almost exactly the same structure like I had in the categories index. So I'm going to copy the button for creating a new resource and I'll paste it right there. This is going to say add post and it's going to go to the post dot create route. Then I'm going to have the table. And in this case, we have a card and then we have a card header and then we have the card body that has a table. So that's what we're going to do for the post also. So I'm going to have a card the card default and here I'm going to have a card header and this is going to say post and here I'm going to have a card body and we're going to have our table right here. If we refresh right now, visit the post endpoint. Oh, at the moment, this link does not point to the post. So let's go back to our layouts file and make sure it does. So in the app.blade.php where we have our navigation, which is right here. We're going to make sure this points to the route for viewing all posts, which is route post dot index. Okay. So if you refresh right now, click on this, it takes us to the page for viewing all posts. When the user clicks on add post, we go to the post creates route, but since our controller does not have any data, we simply see a blank screen. So in this case, we want to return a view. And this is going to be the post dot create view. So we'll go to the post folder and we are going to create a file create.blade.php. First, we want to extend the main layout file and then we want to have the content section. So in this section, just like we have for the create category, we're simply going to have a card that has a form in it. So let's go ahead and take care of that. In the post, I'm going to have a card, dot card default. And in there, I'm going to have a dot card header. And this header is going to say create post. And then in the card body, I'm going to have a form. Now we are going to be using this to create a post, right? So the action is supposed to be the route for creating a post. And this is going to be post dot store. Remember, to know the route name, you need to look at your routes list. And right here, you can see post.store that goes to the store method. Okay. So first thing we have to do most importantly is to give this method post. The second thing is our CSRF token. Next, let's go ahead and create the fields that we need. The first we need is a title. So we're going to have a form group right here. And then we're going to have a label. And this is going to be title and the label is going to be for title. So I'm going to have an input that form control. And this is going to be type text, name of title, ID of title. And if we refresh our form right now, you can see we have the post title right here. Awesome. Let's go ahead and add the other fields. If we check out our create post 
migration you can see we need a title we need a description and we need some content and then we need an image now we also need a published ad field right there which is a date so let's go ahead and work on this for the description i think it would be better off creating this as a text because the text might be long so here for the description I'm just going to copy this paste it right here change this this to description and this is also going to be description and this is going to be text area that form control and the name is going to be description the id is going to be description the columns this is going to be five and five rows okay so if i delete this refresh great we have a title we have description next we need one for the content so i'm just going to duplicate this for the description and i'm going to change this 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 to the content so all of this is going to say content awesome if we refresh this great we have title description contents and what's left is the date picker so right here i'm just going to copy that for the title and i'll paste it right here so title is going to be changed to published ad so i'm just going to change this using multiple cursors and i'll change all of these to published ad but this is actually going to be published at as such okay so if we refresh this you can see we have title description content and published ad but one more thing we need to be able to upload images right so we're gonna come right here and we're gonna add one final one for the image so I'll paste that right here and the type of this is going to be file and this is going to say image name is going to be image and the id is going to be image and this is going to have the image label so if we refresh right now you can see we have a field down there that says choose a file awesome so finally we just need to add a submit button so we're gonna have a form group and in there we're gonna have a button dot button dot button success and it's going to say create post we can also make sure we say the type is submit so that it submits the form when it's clicked if we refresh great you can see we have title description content published ad and the image right here so in this lesson we've prepared all the fields that we need to be able to create a post in the next lesson we'll take care of the server side to save these details into our database i'm going to teach you how to upload images and i'm also going to teach you how to save details directly into the database okay thank you so much and see you then